if there was a dinner party yeah for people mm. and you could bring I hate dinner parties by the way really yeah yeah if you could bring one person though dead or alive from history bring one person yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so one guest with you alright so obviously you got them for the whole of the night you know to ask whatever you want mm. say what you want to say put wrongs right you know anyone from history anyone dead or alive right. um who would it be? It's a big thing, isn't it? Who's who else is at a dinner party? Just other people. I, I I don't know. I never put much thought into that. To be honest, I just thought about him or her. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You're really asking who 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 I'd like to meet. That I think's most interesting or stimulating. That would be a, a good conversationalist on the night sort of thing well normally at dinner party I'm, I'm thinking you know like you know one of these big table dinner parties so basically whoever's to the right no. of you no no well, so, sometimes if, if you've got a lot of friends right. you can have like big tabled dinner parties and like normally the person you've got a big table I mean not everyone has a big table dinner parties do they well we'll, we'll go to uh, a place with a big table right yeah Normally, the person that you, you've bought with you or whatever, you normally speak to most because obviously you can't get around. You don't really stand up, do you? So you, you talk. What's the point of that? What's the point of that? You, you just not go out and speak to them at home? Yeah, we'll go with it, though, because if you could take anyone, mm -hmm. you know, who would it be? Dead or alive? I mean, I was thinking about it. And don't forget, it doesn't have to be say interesting conversation. Say if you want to ask them, go, why did you do that? What were you thinking there? Right. You know, so you could have anyone some, at all. Anyone. anyone, so like, I don't know you could have, just for mm. you know, controversial, you could go. You could say Hitler, and have Hitler. Ask him. I don't know. Yeah. Why? You, you just want to kill him, though, wouldn't you? You wouldn't. You wouldn't want to talk to him. You just want to kill him. Well, let's let's go with the fact that he can't actually. He's not dangerous anymore. And after the right. dinner party, he's, he's away from. He's away from. So it's just that night. Sort it's of that thing. night. We'll, and we'll, then we'll he's go gone with, again. We'll go with two hours. Right. He can't there can't be mass genocide in two hours, surely. Right. You wouldn't get a word in edgeways, would you? Yeah. You'd be used to be giving it all that, wouldn't you? Well, I'd want yeah. He spat a lot as well, didn't he? What 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 would you ask Hitler? Well I'd probably ask him, you know, what he what he was thinking of. Yeah. You know. You ever think about having a word with yourself? I wonder what Hitler would eat. Mm. Was it, is that right? Am I right in saying he was a vegetarian? You'd have to ring ahead. You'd have to get that sorted, wouldn't you? Because he'd kick off. He'd kick off if yeah, he was meat. Yeah, happy. He would probably kick off, by the way. Yeah, mind you, I mean... And you like meat, by the way. You like meat. Yeah. What are you, what are you asking him for? That's not going to work. <coughs> I suppose, rightly so. I mean, you can't really expect him to put up with that. Um, all right, then. Oh, I don't know. He thought about Hitler, to be honest. Who, uh, would, who would you bring? Just thought. What? Here we go. The guy who named Owls. No doubt about it, it. The guy who named Owls. Named that is, Owls a, what? that is a man. That is a man. I'm presuming it was a man. Because most men named things then. Um, um, what do you mean, named <coughs> Owls? I don't know what you're on about. The guy who gave owls their names. As in their actual, what type of owl we are. Exactly. Not necessarily the type. Because there's, there's subspecies, you see. And this, I'll tell you what, I'll show you what I mean. I'll show you what I mean. There's a barn owl, right? Yeah. Lives in a barn. Yeah? Right. Bang. Barn owl. Why is it called barn owl? Lives in a barn. Bang. Right. No room for any <coughs> confusion. Confusion. Just straight in. You know what I mean? It's just there. Short eared owl. Why is it called a short eared owl? Hey, it's got short ears. Yeah? Yeah. Long eared owl. Long ears. I never really thought about it, you know. That is a mind that I would like to engage with. Because that sort of clarity of thought is something that 
I feel that I've never achieved. Yeah. Brown ale. Brown ale. It's brown. Yeah. Yeah. Mouse munching owl. Yeah. Right. What does that munch? I would say mice. Correct. Oh, it is quite... Swivel neck owl. Now, you say to yourself, owls all swivel necks, yeah? Yeah, I thought so. Tell me what the swivel neck owl does. Swivels it more. It's the more swivelly neck, yeah? Jeez. What shall I call it? Swivel neck owl. Bang. Yeah? The man... Clever, yeah, yeah, exactly. The man had a clarity of thought. Quiet flying owl. I bet he doesn't make a noise when he flies. Correct. Farsighted owl. I think I'm, I know where it's going. Yeah? Yeah. But do you, do you understand that? I mean, if Hitler had that clarity of thought, yeah. maybe he wouldn't have invaded Poland. You see? Yeah, yeah. You can learn a lot from this man. Yeah? What's ta- Le- What's Tawny? What's ta- Tawny. Yeah. Oh, is it, oh, it's a colour, isn't it? What colour is it? Is it? It's it's tawny. Bloody hell. Little L. Is there a big one? There's not a big L. He did miss out on big L. But but there is a little L. That's little. Now. So what's a big L called? Big L. <laughs> There's the eagle L. Yeah. Because... It's as big as an eagle. Yeah. See, see the little owl? The little owl's called the little owl. Because mm. all the other owls are bigger than it. Yeah. So that's the little owl. Then there's... Then there's the elf owl. Well, that would be little as well, wouldn't it? Is yeah, that but, but, the but, little but, but what else? Looks like an elf. What, what does an elf look like? Have you seen the elf owl? That's what an elf looks like. Mm-hmm. The man did not make mistakes. Yeah? Snowy owl. A white, aren't they? Correct. Yeah. yeah. What colour is that? Snowy. Hmm. Yeah. Then you've got the crested owl. They've got a crest. The maned owl. What? Maned, you know, like a lion's mane. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just got more feathers around its um, neck. Neck. Yeah. I mean, it was it was creative as well, you know. Yeah. I mean, you might have looked at that and say that you might have looked at that and thought that owl's got quite big claws. By the way, we'll call it the big clawed owl. And then where do you go from there? They've all got big claws. They've all got big claws. Yeah. What's it got? What's its distinguishing characteristic? Mm. This guy knew owls. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he did anything else. Just owls. Just owls, but he got it right. See, he got it right. A lot of people that they spread their talents too thin. Yeah. This guy condensed it all on owl, yeah? And I want to know, I'd be asking him, where do you get the focus from? You know, where where, where do you get the drive? You know? I mean, we've got horned owl. Mm. You know, hasn't got horns. We're not, I mean, let's not be silly about this. Yeah. Hasn't got antlers, but it's got a feather-like structure on its head that appears... Appears to be horns. Appears to be horns, yeah. Brilliant. We've got the hawk owl. Looks a bit more like a hawk. Yeah. It's got a little bit of a smaller head. Still got the, the muckle eyes and that. Yeah. And the swivelly neck. Not, Quite, as, not as swivelly as the swivel neck. Not as swivelly as the swivel. Yeah. Correct. See? Yeah. Even you who does not have much knowledge of owls, can begin to differentiate because he got the naming so correct. You know? That's brilliant. I mean, what a dinner party that would be. You know, we'll say, we've got the earless owl. You know what? The earless owl. Yeah. Now that, it's not that it hasn't got any ears, but in relation to other owls, they're tucked in a bit. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah, that's its distinguishing characteristic. I think I'd probably ask him, you know, what, what, what can we learn from how you 
dealt with the naming of owls in terms of our relationship not just to nature but to other people you know because if you can define if you can define a person like he defined an owl hmm. you know well there's big ears hmm. you know there's long legs you know there's big wrists big wrists hmm. there's baldy yeah you're a long way to defining them as people aren't you you're getting into their inner psyche you know what I mean you can define them and move on you know judge them move on that's them they're in their box in the box we'll yeah. move on yeah you know I mean laughing now it's extinct now unfortunately it it did oh. not laugh last but sure. it did have a laugh you know yeah so he called it laugh now I mean the list is endless sounds you know? like the name of a pub Exactly. But white face towel. Got a white face, hasn't it? But it's not the snowy owl. Because the snowy owl. White all over. White all yeah. over. White face towel. Where's that white? On its face. Yeah. They've all got big eyes, haven't they? They have. That's yeah. why I didn't call any one of them the big eyed big owl. Because they've all got them. Exactly. Yeah. Not gonna not gonna do that. He didn't make that mistake. You you go down the list he did not Spectacle Owl. Yeah. yeah. Looks like the one that's wearing glasses. All the others. Mm hmm. Mm. But not the one. Yeah. Not the one. Mm. I mean there's about two hundred species, I can go down them here. You know, he you can trust me, or I, I mean I can go down them if you want. But he no. got every single one right. You, you, you see, I mean, I put it to you. I'd be sitting there with the owl man, and you'd be sitting there with Hitler, and you'd be starting to just here we go. Here we go. Conversation yeah. a bit, you know. And there'd be such a stream of knowledge, truth, foresight, clear thinking mm. from this man that you just. You just start to ignore Adolf. Well, I think your old man would definitely make a... Especially if you are, you know, we're, we're tucking into some steak on the other side and you're mm. gnawing a, a nut cutlet or something. Yeah. You know, it's going to start to peel a little bit, isn't it? Yeah. Well, your old man would definitely make my Hitler look very indecisive. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I believe that the owl man, you know, he, he, he didn't have to shoot himself. No. You know, he might have shot himself, I don't know. But he didn't have to. No, he had a lot to be proud of, didn't he? Of course he did. Of course he did. My guest, well, not so much. 